Littlefoot is the nickname that's given to um, a skeleton of an Australopithecus that was located after a search by myself, Stephen Motsumi and Nkwani Malefi deep down in the Stokefontein Caves. The name Littlefoot was initially given to four foot bones that I found in a box of animal fossils at Stokefontein in 1994 and Professor Philip Tobias said, oh what a little foot, ha ha ha, that's a good name, let's call it Littlefoot. Uh, to contrast it with Bigfoot, the Sasquatch of North America. <laughs> so when um, Nkwani and Stephen actually found a spot that uh, a part of that, uh, that skeleton fitted onto, it was the lower end of a tibia, a shin bone, they found the actual spot deep within the cave after I sent them in to look for it. Um, the whole skeleton then became known as Littlefoot. The name is Stuck. But once they found that position in the cave, we began to excavate. That was in uh, 1997, July 1997. We were expecting to see the whole skeleton just lying there. <laughs> it didn't work that way. We uncovered the lower legs up to the middle of the thighs and then no more and we excavated on and on month after month and didn't find any more until I suspected that there'd been an ancient collapse, the rest of the skeleton had fallen into a lower level and then been sealed in by a thick flowstone, a stalagmite. And so we chiseled through that stalagmite and sure enough one day uh, we found the part of the skull and then we continued to excavate and we got the skull and then later the arm, much later, uh, the forearm with the hand and then later still we got the upper legs and ribs and vertebrae. It took a long time. Fossils, uh, fossils of our ancestors have been found not only in South Africa but East Africa over many, many years. But they've tended to be fragmentary. And if we're lucky, we get a complete cranium. But never before has a complete skeleton been found. Never before has a complete skull, that is the upper part and the lower part joined together, been found of an adult Australopithecus. And skeletons are extremely rare. You don't, you don't tend to find even partial skeletons as a rule. There are a few partial skeletons that have been recovered over the years, but never a complete one. Furthermore, this skeleton is the oldest Australopithecus in southern Africa. It dates to 3.67 million years. Uh, so it, it has a lot of firsts. It's the first complete skeleton. Uh, it's the first complete skull of an adult. It is the first skeleton that has a complete arm and a complete leg in one individual that can be compared. And it is the oldest in southern Africa. So it truly is a remarkable discovery and it all came about uh, from my finding in 1994 those first four foot bones that Professor Tobias called Littlefoot. <laughs>